It's two of Billy. Good morning, Abby. Monday morning. I'll tell you what, this past weekend was epic in college football, specifically for the University of Tennessee. That's my alma mater. <clears throat> so I graduated from UT, um, and the last time we beat Bama was when I was there. So 2006 was the last time they Tennessee beat Alabama. And la Saturday's victory was, mwah, oh my gosh. That was an awesome game, hard fought, and it was really anybody's game up until the last second. You never knew. If I mean that was a lame duck of a last field goal kick, but it inched through. If it didn't, they'd go to overtime, and I don't know what would happen in overtime. But it didn't, so woo. It's um definitely a celebration. Um, I mean, gosh, if you were watching the game. They stormed the field immediately. Um, ripped down the goalpost. They ended up in the Tennessee River. Which, you know, eh, pollution, all that, but whatever. It was awesome to see. I even got back on Facebook for a little bit to read the comments, to share an old post, so back in my college days um, in 2005 specifically Tennessee was not doing so hot and um, I decided I'd, I'd make a little bet with uh, my fellow band members tuba players because I was I was in the marching band and I said if Tennessee beats LSU because we were playing at LSU we beat LSU, I will shave a power T in my chest because I know you have not seen the rest of me, but um, Austin Powers ain't got nothing on my chest here. <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, so even back in 2005, I would... The, the band would, t would tease me, say, hey, you wouldn't sweat so much if you took that sweater off because, uh, you know, I marched without a shirt on <clears throat> during practice. Uh, yeah, so I'm hairy. Anyway, so decided I'd, I'd make that bet, and sure enough, they beat, they beat LSU. Now, they'd only taken a, like, a small pet band. And um, so I, I did not go to that game. But about 12 o'clock midnight after the game, there's a pounding on my dorm room door. And one of my friends was there saying, oh gosh, not saying oh gosh. It was saying, get your razor, get in the car. Like, get your razor, get in the car. And I was like, what, now? He's like, yes, now. So we went and bunch of my friends shaved a power T into my chest like from from <laughs> belly button up to my neck basically um, it, it was pretty awesome um, they uh, and yeah, that, that was kind of legendary for a little while I was like oh did you hear about that guy who shaved a power T in his chest um, 16 years later, I don't think that's still a thing, but yeah, you never know. Um, definitely not, because nobody I knew is still there. Oh, uh, but anyway, but it was an awesome, awesome game. And I've got a tradition that every time Tennessee wins, I have a bright orange blazer that I'll wear to church. So I was decked out in orange. I had an orange shirt, had my Tennessee tie, had um my blazer on if i had orange pants i would have been wearing those too <clears throat> now this coming weekend 
gonna be going to Tennessee for homecoming. I get to march with the band again. It's been a while since I've done that. I think it's been since, since we had kids, so at least 10 years. Because uh, I graduated 2010, so something like that. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, but anyway, it has been a good weekend for Tennessee fans. Still kind of living on a high. But you never know what it's going to happen. Especially, you know, as other teams, you know, like Georgia. Georgia's the other team I'm worried about because, you know, Georgia's pretty good. I mean, they did shut out Vandy 55 to nothing, but, I mean, it is Vandy. But in the past years, Vandy has beat Tennessee. So you never know. Just remember, please, to be excellent to each other. And remember, it's just a game. Tuba Billy, signing out. God be with you till we meet again.